Hey YouTube, welcome back. JTD Bladesmithing. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following along on all these different ventures. We're going to talk about sheep making and men's health. Person health, if you will. People health. At an appointment with the VA, you want to do a blood draw. They called me the next day and said, we got your results back. I have to change my lifestyle, eating, exercising, blood pressure, cholesterol, eat more vegetables, fruits, fiber, keep a healthy diet, don't just eat meat, and I'm guilty there, but what killed me was they said, cut back on the fried foods and the pizza, I don't eat that shit. I might have eaten something the day of or the day before that messed up my blood test results, but I'm not a pig. Anyway, guys, take care of yourselves. <clears throat> so, sheets for the Samai Damascus. I'm making progress. Let me show you where we're at. So what we have here is a typical belt clip that you can buy from a store. Uh, knife supply, whatever. <clears throat> How do you make this work for a sheep? You gotta drill holes, you gotta figure it out, the depth and everything else. Too much wiggle play, but a solution is this little piece of old beer koozie. Cut the circles the same size as the washer that came in here, and you space it just right. Gives you a little bit of a gap, if you will. But, now for the test fit. Can I mold this with a blade in it and make it successful? Because if it's not successful, I'm going to have to cut this off to get to the back here to take those two apart. So, next step, make a test sheet and go from there. Alright, so here we are. I've taken measurements, I've done different fit-ups, I've transferred stuff, so this is where we are. We've got our Kydex, we've got our belt clip. It's all fastened, everything's on there. Now the intent is to heat this face down on the skillet like normal. Once it's pliable, yeah actually I'm not going to heat those up. I'm going to put those at the bottom like that. I'm going to heat this uniform until it's pliable. I'm going to take it off. Run over here to the press. I'm going to, oh, well, the press is going to be open. I'm going to put the knife right in the middle of the clip, fold that over, and then press it. Now, looking at here, I'm wondering if I should make it larger and offset it. But again, this is a trial run. If it works, it'll be the only run, which I will be totally stoked because that's the only clearance it's got to have for that blade going in and out of the sheet is right in between there, and that's pretty much where the little finger wheel is going to sit based on where I've got it taped off. So let's uh, do it to it and see what happens, folks. Woo woo! All right, so on social media sites, when people are posting whatever ridiculous crap they're posting. I always see a disclaimer that says, I don't own the rights to this. Song, phrase, whatever. I do not own the rights to this phrase. And here we go. My goodness, it's yes, it's So, what I expected to happen, happened. It did not fold completely in half because it was only at the halfway mark. So this side did not fold over and it did not fold evenly. But I think I can salvage the sheet through the fact that I have a sheet gun. But this here, this isn't good. Right, so over here, you see that that's not exactly sealed. But if I use a heat gun, I might be able to save it. And on the flip side of the coin, we have belt clip. You can see here, the bulge is because 
so it lays flat like that when I press it. I didn't press it enough to get behind here. So with a heat gun, I'm going to heat that. I'm going to take a wooden shim and I'm going to press it down, get it nice and flat against the blade. Now, this side doesn't look too bad, but it needs work. Again, this is a prototype unless I can make it successfully work, which is the thought. So, stay tuned to that, and with any luck, it will be a success. And, yeah, so that's my next step. Press that, clean it up. Now, I might stop right here and clean everything on this one. <sighs> With any luck, I'll get it to work, and I can start wearing it to work. Once again, I point at the floor because nobody wants to see this garbage. But here's where it stands. With the practice sheet for the night. able to clean it up a bit, uh, fold it, had to use a heat gun, lots of pieces of steel to try to go along the blade, and I put rivets in, thank you Mike, uh, I put the rivets because I didn't have enough overlay for, you know, putting the eyelets in, but right now, it's good, it's good, and if I want, I can wear it on a belt. So, this was a, a test sheet to see what it would take, and it took a lot. Uh, in here was bubbled because the Kite Express didn't, you know, it can't go through there. And then from here, out, I had to take a piece of steel and slide it in there and press and hold it while it was still hot. So I used a heat gun, a glue gun, a Kydex press, and it doesn't do a whole lot. So for now, I'll probably carry this. Now, granted, I'm going to sharpen it. It's sharp enough, it sure as shit cut me, but I want to sharpen it up a little bit more so that when I want to use it, it's available for use. But that's where we stand for now. Just a uh, nice little sheath and a uh, knife to carry it with. So, if you guys have. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys have any comments, let me know. If you think I should overlap it more next time and put eyelets in like my normal sheets, I'll definitely consider that. But as far as a test, I think it'll go. So, yeah, I definitely I don't like how close that is to the edge. So, again. This is a prototype sheet for this knife. But, all right, comment, at least like the video if you watch it. And uh, let, let me know what you think. If you got comments, please leave comments. And we're gonna wrap it up there. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks, too.